there! Have you heard the good word? No. Well, first you'll have to bear witness to the word of our sponsor, Paradox. They have generously bankrolled today's video and my priestly garb in order to tell you about their game Crusader Kings 3. If you click on the link in the parchment below, you'll be able to find out more. Enjoy the video. Yes, indeed. Welcome to Crusader Kings. <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen the small child hiding behind his father's cape. We shall be playing in Iberia, a place of broken kingdoms and competing faiths. There are two Muslim religions in the south, the Ashari and the Muluadai, and in the north are the Catholics, who are all of different cultures as well. As King Sancho, we have only one goal. Introduce a new faith and have that faith win the peninsula. When the peninsula is secure and under the control of the true believers, not even necessarily ourselves, but just those who believe in our religion, then we can consider our job complete. To begin with, we're going to need a lot of piety. We're going to need to focus on theology. There we go. And we're going to go down the theologian path to get to the prophet. Though we are a holy man, we must marry immediately in order to secure a future for our kingdom. Primarily because this is going to get us an alliance with the Duchy of Normandy, who has 5,000 soldiers at the ready. Oh, darling, you have such a lovely army of spearmen. Hmm. I'm first in line for the Kingdom of Lyon. We look at the Kingdom of Lyon. That is my brother. Here's the interesting thing. His heir is me, and my heir is him. It's just a shame that he's going to fall down all of those stairs. It is now time for a war. We fully intend to spread our religion peacefully once it's been established. But in order to do that, we need to have a strong kingdom to defend that religion from. Specifically, from the Muslims in the south. But see, here's the thing is, the Muslims already don't like us being Catholic and in Iberia. When we make our new religion, the Catholics won't like us either. We will indeed be caught between a rock and a hard place, and we'd better be a very hard place if we want to survive. Uh, so I was going to rely on my ally to assist me here. However, my ally is Duke William II, the bastard of Normandy, who's just invaded England. So I suppose I'm joining that then. I guess we're invading England now. This wasn't really how I expected things to go, but you know what they say. When an opportunity presents itself, you take it. Dover shall fall soon to my men. It's good practice for the fights to come in Iberia. I never knew I'd crusade in England. I got 200 prestige and some opinion from that. Brilliant. But I now have an ally in England. As in, the King of England is my ally. Oh, god damn it. Now the Norwegians are invading. Now that that is all done, we may carry on with our original plan of invading the kingdom to our west. Leon, of course, we are handling with an assassination. Ah. Hmm? No, 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 was it me? No, 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 no. I think I'll call King William to help on this. There we go. <laughs> oh, the entirety of England comes to my aid. Oh, so sorry, King Philip of France has joined as, oh no. Oh, we've just started World War I. Oh God, no. Oh, oh, I've made a massive mistake. Oh, perfect timing. Enforce demands. We fought alongside England, fought the French. Taken over part of Vercasia. Now we only need to wait for just a little bit to let my soldiers recover. And then we'll invade Lyon and take that as well. Wait a second. One of my vassals is actually attacking Lyon. That's the war they're fighting right now. And it's, it's my brother who I invaded and beat. So the brother that I invaded and conquered is invading the third brother and is going to win. Which will mean that I will be the liege of my brother who is the liege of my brother. It's just starting to look like our family tree. A hundred percent enforced demands. There we go. And disband. Look at our kingdom now. We grow. My mum's dead. That's sad. Anyway, she died on the day of our victory. One of our ancestors is called Conan, apparently. Grow strong, son Conan. Ah, oh, a daughter. Let's name her after an ancestor. God damn it, Adelaide, stop rubbing it in my face. I'm aware Melbourne sucks right now. You bloody bastards. Oh, we are steps away from getting theologian, which means we can get more piety and then hopefully actually get our own religion. I wish to become a paragon of virtue, please. And then start at my own heresy. You know, that, that kind of virtue. Oh no, someone's trying to murder Muhammad. Isn't, isn't Muhammad in jail? He's my prisoner. I wonder if that someone is me. Yep, I can I can do it. Um 
Yep. Oh no! We'd better stop the villain! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how I find out about us. I find out about a scheme and I'm like, you know what, that sounds like a great idea. No! The Crusader Kings! Deus Vault! I like this music that has just started the moment this appeared. The faithful prepare for a war! Huzzah! Let's go! Crusade for Jerusalem. See, the whole reason I'm doing this is to get more piety to break away from Christianity, but let's do it. Oh, you're wondering what's in the Bible? Hmm. It's all just tomboys. Welcome, brothers, to tomboy supremacy. Armed pilgrimages, medicant preachers, and carnal exaltations. The three tenets of our religion. Indeed, nothing shall stop us from overrunning Iberia with tomboys and establishing them as the true rulers of the land. Our view on gender? Equal. Our only difference from Christianity. However, marriages are allowed consorts and concubines, and divorce is always legal. As for crime, same-sex relations are accepted, because that shit's hot. Male adultery? Accepted. Female adultery? Also accepted. Witchcraft and deviancy? Only shunned. But the real truth of it all. The clergy are to be women. The clergy are also to be used for recruitment and war. Yes, that's right, they can fight as commanders and knights, meaning that all their clergy are warrior women, who are legally allowed to be married. It is considered a sin to be chaste, and a virtue to be lustful. All aboard the tomboy boat. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. So I guess we're just not in the crusade anymore. No, wait, we're still part of the crusade onto Jerusalem. Is that man wearing two hats? I like there's just a boat here. The holy site of Santiago. Oh shit, we actually tomboys need to need to take control of it. All tomboys! <laughs> the tomboy schism! Oh my god, this is amazing. I love these stupid names. Oh! I immediately died. Brilliant! Just after I die, my son steps in. He is a true believer in tomboyism as well. Alright, Toma. Let's spread the word. My Pope of the Tomboys is already calling a crusade. And they're going for Jerusalem! <laughs> what? Someone by the name of Habibi and her family has arrived, but uh... I can tell her she's only allowed to stay if she embraces tomboy supremacy. Brilliant. I could establish a holy order of tomboys. Oh, this has to happen. I need 20 more bucks and 300 more piety. Uh, God, yeah, it's actually quite expensive to make them, but all right, we're going to do that. We need to get a holy order of tomboys ready. The city, here we go. We have all the money. We have all the faith. Finally, we are founding a tomboy holy order. I believe I'll be taking a short vacation at the Monastery of Tomboys. The Knights Templar. Wait, that's... Is it? <laughs> Damn it. I wanted, to, I wanted to name it myself, but I guess that's what we're calling it. The patron is myself. It has 1,000 soldiers, two knights. It's got 200 order knights, 100 order knights, 800 levies. It's Grand Mistress, uh, Mistress Beatrice of Knights Templar who leads it. And it's no cost to hire them if we're at war with a hostile faith. Amazing. Absolutely brilliant. A crusade for Galicia. This is an issue. This is a very big issue. Wait, Amir? Yep, wait, the Aphasids joined my war? What? What? What is- Hang on. <laughs> what? The Muslims are fighting on the side of- of tomboyism? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Right, yeah, it seems we've lost. Uh, there is just tens of thousands of soldiers here now. There is- there is no hope. Yep, and, uh, and one of my daughters died in combat. And I've had a mental break! And thus we have lost Galicia. My Irish wife gave birth in full battle armor. This is good. We shall, we, we shall name our son Male in, uh, there we go. In honor of her victory. Looks like Galicia is being invaded already. What's happening over here? Oh wait, no, there's a tomboy uprising! <gasps> By the gods! <laughs> The tomboys are winning as well! Tomboys! 
Rise up! Oh my god, the populist uprising of tomboys are actually winning the war. I can't believe that's actually what it's just occurred. Oh my god, it just happened. There is now a tomboy ruler in charge once more. Amazing. We must, we must get an alliance, me and you. Let's go. Yes, use an alliance. Boom! We didn't even need to, uh, we didn't even need to, it's called. Bloody invade him. It's back under tomboy control. This is amazing. Please tell me my men at arms are still around. Yes, they are. Good, good. Can I call in my... Oh, no, because they're still... Okay, if these... I have actually not gotten even get to use the Holy Order I paid so much money for because they keep calling crusades that never happen. I'm starting to think that religions that don't call Holy Wars actually are better than ones that do. And the, the, the crusade failed. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. I'm glad at least the crusade is over so I can now use my Holy Order for once. Don't start another one. Right. Why is the Holy Roman Empire in North Africa? I'm sorry? <laughs> what? I just- I haven't been looking at the map for most of this game and then suddenly there's just- Alright, yeah, I guess that's down there. Oh, God, no! It's just- stop. I'm just- I'm not fighting you. I'm just surrendering. You can have the fucking territory. I don't care. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Finally, I get to actually call in the Knights Templar. Oh, I'm so happy. The commander of the Knights Templar has 31 commander advantage. Holy hell. All right, we're going to abuse the hell out of using her. She's going to fight our battles for us. Yo, I've just discovered I can get an alliance with the Tomboy Papacy. Yes. Wait, are you actually just... Oh, you're the Pope. I can actually just marry the Pope. Hell yeah. <laughs> can I now get the Pope involved in my war, please? Oh, I can ally with a peasant revolt. Sure. <laughs> An Ethiopian peasant revolt as well. Go on, daughter. All right, holy war for this duchy, which is going to be a big claim. We go, yes. We then raise up our forces, which are quite strong. We're going to call in the Knights Templar as well. Brilliant. And then we start calling in the allies. All right. So we have 9,000 troops to start us off. How many troops have you got? You got 2,000 more. Come on in. This is going to be a great war. This is going to be amazing. We're actually going to finally smash the Muslims and actually like break up this massive block of power they have. Oh, I can't wait. We're finally actually expanding south rather than just desperately clinging to our kingdom. This war is going brilliantly. Way better than I could have expected. Now it's just a case of sieging down a few more castles and we're good. Brilliant work. Let's stand everyone down. There we go. Oh, stand down as well. Oh, I can actually usurp the title. Here we go. Let's uh, let's usurp the title. There we go. And now it's ours. It's Tuldeo. Lovely, lovely. Let's also take some consorts. Hello there. Po Wait, Polish Muslim? 63-year-old Polish Muslim that can give my children the giant trait? Sure, get in here. You're my consort. Oh my god, stop invading Jerusalem! Something I'd never thought I'd say in this game. Oh? Uh-oh. The Kingdom of Leon is actually going to be won by someone other than my candidate. By a Countess Bri- Oh no, this is- this isn't okay. See, there is another solution to my problem, which is just doing this. And now I'm next in line! See, that's the brilliant thing is I don't care about Queen Adelaide, she can die. She's gonna die, that's- that's the idea. At some point, she will die. Hopefully soon, I already hope she would, but she's lived to the ripe old age of 66, somehow. Please hurry up and die. So that my child can finally actually, like, do things nice. She's gonna be a great person. Just a lot of people had to die to get her to where she needs to be. There's actually a surprising number of people who are signing up to invade Jerusalem, and it kind of scares me, but still not enough. <laughs> yes! Finally! She drank herself to death! Uh, bubonic plague? Excuse me? Hmm. Alright, hello there, child. Yes, I would like to ransom you. Please get the hell out of my dungeon. Get out of my dungeon, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, it's finally over. Oh, wow. I actually managed to, like, get him out fast enough. Only one person died during the outbreak. Oh, thank God. Finally, finally, finally. Holy War for Kingdom. They have 15,000 warriors to their name. They have a couple of pretty good allies. We've got a couple of good allies to ourselves. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Okay, we're targeting the right one. This is all good. We've got a bunch of allies. Okay, declare war. Now, let's go through and do everything, shall we? We group our forces here, and then we charge. 
Damned it fools! Yes! Oh, this is a big battle, but we're gonna win it. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, wow. The Mongols have just shown up. That's fun. Oh, he's having a good time, I'm sure. Oh, wow, it's actually- oh, Mongolia exists? Oh, yeah, I guess we do go this far east, don't we? Yeah, there we go. 95%, we're almost there. God, it's just taking so long. Like, it's such a big war. Yes! Enforce demands. There we go. Oh, boy! Oh, never mind. 68,000 soldiers coming to just beat the shit out of me. I'm just gonna surrender. Like, it's literally, it's not worth the effort to fight these guys. It's better to surrender and then just fucking invade the kingdom that they make 10 minutes later. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I know there's a giant war going on, but I get a pet cat. Yay. I get to name it? Oh, what? I shall name it Paws. Okay, enforce demands. Demands are enforced. Disband troops. This should be it. Yes! Create the Empire of Hispania. There we go. I am now a mighty emperor. Oh, well, Barcelona's there. Okay, I'm gonna invade you pretty soon. But uh, now, every time we die, I will stay in complete control of at least Iberia, which is important. Because that's what I want. Now, I just need a little bit of prestige. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a hunt. And that'll, uh, pet paws. What? Oh! <gasps> Aww, I get to play with my cat. That's so adorable. You get to pat the cat. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, anyway, back to, back to doing the hunt so I can actually get enough prestige to uh, to put it to a vote. Okay, so Duke is either next in line or not next in line for everything, but it doesn't actually matter because the only thing that matters is that he is next in line for Emperor, which is the important one. Okay, lovely. How goes the spreading of Tomboy? Oh, there's still a bit to work on. That's fine, that's fine. But we can we can get it there. Oh, Paws left me two gold. Thanks, Paws. <laughs> so, um, my half-sister, who was originally my heir, has been romancing me. And now I can become her soulmate. This is concerning. She becomes my soulmate. Great, my half-sister is my soulmate. This is kind of weird. Wow, my son and his sister are lovers. I don't know why I'm judging that, considering that's true for me too. I can invite them to my chambers for some family time. What? <laughs> I sleep with both of them? And I knocked up my daughter. Oh, and my half-sister's now mad that I fucked my daughter. My daughter's in jail. Uh, I'll break it off, promise. <laughs> my daughter gave birth in jail, and my son is also in jail because of it. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave him as a bastard. Gonna name him Jafredo and leave him as a bastard. There we go. Whoa, wait, hang on. There's a crusade for England this time. That might actually succeed, except it won't because just there's so many Catholics in this world, but still. Oh, she wants to take it as a Canterbury. That's why she wants to take it. Wait, wait, wait! What? We own Jerusalem? <laughs> What? <laughs> One of the many crusades that I was just ignoring succeeded? And a tomboy has taken over Jerusalem. And he's from my house. Tomboy actually exists in Jerusalem. I- I'm so ama- I didn't think that that was gonna- I was just like putting it out of my mind. I would just deny every single crusade. I don't think we can get a better ending point than that. Hispania has been made. Tomboy rules over most of Iberia and also Jerusalem. I cannot believe it. That is so perfect. My god. Thank you all for watching. That was a very long game of Crusader Kings 3. I really enjoyed that. I'm not allowed to do any actual reviews yet, but I will say I really enjoy the game. As someone who enjoyed Crusader Kings 2, this feels like Crusader Kings 2 taken to 11 and is really fun and the new features are really fun to play with. And... I managed to write Tomboy across all of Iberia. That's it. <laughs> oh, the, the coin pouch. Oh, this. Yes, well, what secrets do I have here, hmm? They're all just Werther's originals.